Nadia Velasquez, thank you so much for being here with us. And first of all, I'm curious if I can get some reaction to, uh, from you about what we heard in Madison Square Garden, noting here that the Trump campaign, their national press secretary, uh, told us again that they're sort of distancing themselves, that this joke was in poor taste, and that it has nothing to do with the views of the campaign or Donald Trump himself. Really? The Trump campaign may claim that these were merely off the cuff jokes, but we know that the campaign bets every speech at rallies like this. So it is hard to imagine this getting through without their knowledge. They knew it. They may also claim that these comments do not reflect their views, but we know Donald Trump, particularly Puerto Ricans. We know his track record. Uh, is quite clear when it comes to Puerto Rico and Puerto Ricans. So you're not buying that. We also heard from uh, Pennsylvania Governor Shapiro, who said his battleground state is home to a half a million Puerto Rican voters. Selena mentioned that as well. And he went on to say that he sort of felt Donald Trump should have taken that moment to come on stage and say he stands with Puerto Ricans. Should he have done that? And, and if he did, would that have helped in any way? Look, it is just unimaginable, unimaginable that Donald Trump will do a rally at the Madison Square Garden and that speaker after speaker was spewing all this hatred and rhetoric against Puerto Ricans and against Latino. Trump repeatedly attacked our island in the wake of Hurricane Maria. He claimed that uh, Puerto Ricans want everything done for them, uh, that uh, they're dirty, that Puerto Rico is dirty and poor, and even suggested selling Puerto Rico or trading it for Greenland. Come on, we know this man. He is just totally, he lacks empathy, and, and it reflects quite well. He fosters this type of environment uh, that brings people to say what they said and what we heard yesterday. So we have 450,000 Puerto Ricans in Pennsylvania. And I always say, in order to win uh, Pennsylvania, we need to win Philadelphia. And in order to win Philadelphia, we need to win the Puerto Rican vote in Philadelphia, Allentown, uh, Reading. And we're going to do that. And we know just how crucial uh, Pennsylvania is in this election, no question. I'm curious, based on the conversations that you're having right now, can these jokes in poor taste coming from a comedian really change how someone might actually vote, particularly from these communities? Well, you know, because of the record that he had with Puerto Rico right after Maria, the fact that he instructed the Secretary of HUD to withheld billions of dollars. Right now, Puerto Rican is going through a crisis. And uh, it's related to the fact that Trump did everything possible to withheld money that go, the U.S. Congress appropriated for Puerto Rico. So the fact that a comedian felt right in place to make a joke that it was so disparaging against Puerto Rico, it is clear in the minds of Puerto Ricans that that is how he feels about Puerto Rico. And I just told in a press conference that we held here in New York, I made a call to all families in Puerto Rico who have relatives in Pennsylvania, in North Carolina, in Georgia, to please talk to their relatives and ask them to go out to vote and to do it early. And so are you saying that you're actually using this as a moment to speak to voters and telling them to talk to their families and using this moment as a reason why they should not vote for Donald Trump? Is that what you're saying? No, it's because of his record. And it is because of what Kamala Harris um, represents for Puerto Rico and for everyone in this country. She put forward an agenda that... Um, it will invest in Puerto Rico, in, the, in its economy, in the power grid, in health care that will bring parity, parity in some of the programs uh, that will help seniors and students in Puerto Rico. It is because of her vision and leadership. It's her desire to provide results for the American people. And that is the argument that we have to make 
with the, with the Puerto Rican people and Latinos in this country. Democratic Congresswoman Diaz Velasquez of New York, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you coming on with us today.